all right greetings java viewers and welcome to another unity tutorial uh, i actually recorded this once and <laughs> i used 13 minutes on nothing um because i kind of deleted the entity script for the car so let's just redo this um yeah oh, okay 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 so um since last time what i did is um you create a new folder uh, called this entity in the materials folder I created a new uh, material and then you get this uh, should look like that uh, you click it and you change the texture color or the color and I drag this on to the map and um, let's go and add another material actually um, there I'm gonna call it. I'm gonna call it car material. Uh, it's gonna be white on there. Um, go and game object. Create other. Create a directional light. Um, it's basically just a light that comes from a direction, so you can measure that rotation of that and whatever. Um, okay, so, uh, we have our car here, um, go to entity, create C sharp script, entity car, okay, um, and open this up, ah, uh, funny to redo this, all this code again, never mind, um, so let's go ahead and set this up real quick should not take that long all right so um, what we want to do is we want to have a variable for the speed so public in not a static because we want this to be um yeah I'll, I'll explain there uh, car speed uh, let's put this as 10 uh, I can't really tell you what 10 is, like in speed, so just play around with the number and you'll get different, um, different, um, yeah, um, outcome. Alright, um, so in our update method, um, we are going to, um, now first of all, in our, yeah, in our update method, uh, we're gonna um, call um, a method which we're gonna be calling car oops car movement and this is how you call a method you basically put the method name uh, brackets and well depending on the parameters I think um, so I'm just gonna copy this bit uh, go ahead and do public void uh, car movement and then add all the curly brackets and this is as we call it in the update method it's get run uh, when the update method gets run and the update method gets run 60 times in a second um, so basically the um, it's just another update method but it's it has its own name if we were to put it in the start one it would be another start method but um, it would um, not be the same name so that's just basically how that works um so from this car movement method um we're going to measure or handle all the movement for the car now uh, a lot of you might know what a vector is and a lot of you might not know what it is um as we all know there are some dimensional worlds Let, let's not talk too much about that i uh, i could go on forever but um basically um this is our y um, we have an X and in some cases we can go um, forward as well like this and we have um, no you can't really do this way just like that and we have three dimensions we have the Y X and Z and that's what a vector of three is in um, there's also vector two and vector four but uh, oops, vector three alright we're gonna have a new vector three call it velocity 
Uh, it's just like a variable, and but this is um, a variable for only the carbon method. This is equal to transform. Uh, the transform is, if you remember, uh, if we press the cube, uh, it has a transform, which is the position, rotation, and scale. Um, actually, before we move on, uh, go into component while you hover over your car cube, and then add a physics and add a rigid body. Um, and use gravity should be on. Um, okay. Um, go back to your code. Uh, transform dot forward so the front multiply it with the car speed multiply it with the input on the axis so get axis um, this axis is called uh, vertical vertical uh, I don't like a space there and a semicolon alright so another thing we can go ahead and do is uh, velocity um, the y on the velocity dot y is uh, that's equal to rigid body which we just added on and that's velocity on the y just to make sure our velocity um, the y is the same as the rigid body meaning we can use the gravity and the rigid body's velocity uh, in common just the velocity is equal to uh, our velocity all right um, now for to be able to turn around we're gonna have an angular velocity for our rigid body um, to measure the turning left and right uh, and not just moving left and right so the angular velocity on the rigid body is a new vector 3 um, because we're going to be using rotation now um, um, we have zero on the x but on the y which is from the top and down we have one and we have zero on the z now we're going to multiply this with um, we could multiply it with car speed but let's go ahead and add another integer public int car turn speed equal to six and we multiply with the car turn speed and we multiply it with the input on the axis um, on the horizontal axis um, yeah this um, if we go and run this um, first we just drag this entity car onto the uh, car cube so if we click this it should have the rigid body and the car script so let's go ahead and run this um, all right it's it's the hmm. let's go ahead and add that Wait, where's that light I don't think is this light working I don't really see it working um, should be working should be working fine But I don't really see us. Okay, so um, <laughs> I don't know why the camera is standing still. We'll fix that. But as you can see, um, I'm using AWS and D. You can't really see that, but I am, and I'm driving this cube around um, very smoothly. Um, and this is our car for now. <laughs> um, you can also back it up, and this is forward, backwards, left turn, right turn while we can go in circles and all that good stuff um, so uh, actually we should I don't know why the camera is oh um, forgot add the camera to um, the cube so now it should all right you can't really see it that good um, because the camera is where it is um, let's go and add the camera to above like this um, so it's like a 3d view as you can see there's a lot of fraction like um, let's just go and fall out so as you could see um, 
it kind of like bounces from left to right. Let me just go and see how much. All right. So as you saw, uh, also in the first person view, it kind of like bumps like there's um, the ground it's going on. It's not really um, um, the way we want it. And there is a very, very similar reason to this. Imagine you are a cube or a, a person and I'm telling you to move without moving your feet so you're basically just standing still and gliding on the ground now that's impossible so that that we're doing something that's not really possible um, because it's a flat ground and it's well on the ground so that's the reason why it's doing that now one thing we can do um, is to put uh, the freeze rotation on the X and Z this should remove a little of it. Uh, yep. Um, but there, there will still be some, since, um, since we are still doing the same thing, but we basically turned off rotation. But uh, we're still doing something impossible. So we'll, there will always be some. As you can see right now, I'm going right. Uh, I'm not supposed to, because I'm not really moving that way but um that's just how it is um before we stop now um no let's i was going to put a texture on the asphalt but that doesn't really matter um we're going to do that after uh, in the next episode <sighs> sorry so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial um so in the next tutorial we're going to be um looking at um making our map a real game map like um having some asphalt some kind of view thing um we can go in and tile our texture and all that good stuff at uh roads and houses and trees and what's or not but for that we need models in our max or whatever modeling blender or whatever uh, i'm gonna be using max you can use whatever you want but uh, we're going to be doing that in the next tutorial. Um, so, um, yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Um, uh, please leave a like. It really helps us out. And, um, yeah. So, I hope you... I just said that. Never mind. Um, as always, have a good day or night. And I'm out.